Oh, I'm so bored. <sighs> Hey, I know what I can do. How about a lesson about commas in a letter? So this is your word study lesson, and we're gonna talk about where do we need to put commas when we're writing letters and when we're addressing the envelope. So stick with me, okay? I'm going to write a letter to my cousin. He's currently in Utah. I'm just gonna say, how are you doing? So we're gonna see if I can remember where these commas need to go. So I'm gonna write, Dear Ben, how is Utah? Capitalize Utah because it is a state and question mark at the end because it's a question. Um, what else can I say? Zachary, Mrs. Playing Legos with you. Period. Now I think that's it. So I'm going to put love Danielle. Ooh, look, I remembered right away. I have to have a comma here at my closing, right after whatever I use for my closing. You could put love, you could put sincerely, you could put with respect, whatever you put there, you have to have a comma, okay? So there's a comma at the end of a letter after the closing. And I think there's another place that I need a comma. Let's look here. Dear Ben, how is Utah? Zachary misses playing Legos with you. Hmm. Well, I remember that a comma cuts a sentence and it kind of tells me where to pause. So when I read this, where am I gonna pause? Dear Ben, how's Utah? Zachary misses playing with you. Legos with you, love, Danielle. I think it might be at the beginning. How about after his name? Dear Ben, comma. I'm gonna take a little pause there. So after your greeting, dear Ben, it could say, dear Miss Danielle, uh, dear Miss Reka, anything like that, dear, and then whoever you're writing to, and then you have to have a comma. Then you have the body of your letter. Then you have your closing, love, and then a comma, and then Danielle. Okay, that takes care of my letter. Now, how do I do the envelope? Hmm, let me fold this up. I can put it inside. Okay, I got my envelope. I'm gonna slip it inside. Stick it closed. Now I have to do my envelope. Well, I remembered already that I have to put a stamp over on the right hand corner. And here I have my name and my address. This is the return address. Notice. I have a comma here. Danielle Brown, 1234 Sunshine Road in Happy Town, Ohio, 56789. Okay, I remembered my comma there. I always have to put a comma between the city and the state, whether that's in an address or whether that's in anything. I always have to put the comma. So now let me put his address on here. See if I can remember to do my comma here. So who is this going to? It's going to Ben. Hisman, and his address is 7982 Rocky Road, and he's in Glendale, Utah, and the zip code is 78901. How does that look? Does that look right? You're right, I forgot the comma. Comma always, always, always goes in between my city and state. Like again, like I said, whether that is in a letter, 
whether that is you're just writing and you're talking about a specific city and state, you have to remember your commas. Super important, okay? So, when we're writing a letter and addressing an envelope, when I'm writing an address, always have to put a comma between city and state. When we are writing letters, I always put a comma after my greeting, after who I'm sending it to, and at the end, right before I say who is sending the letter. All right, guys, your follow-up is in your folder. Have fun.